Wasserman Schultz, ex-IT aide, has been indicted on four counts. Hello folks, my name is Jen, I'm from Golden State Times, and today we have a news story. This one comes courtesy of Fox News Politics, and it says that Imran Awan, a former IT aide for Democratic Florida, Florida Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz, was indicted Thursday on four counts, including bank fraud and making false statements. The indictment also includes his wife, Hina Alvi. The grand jury decision of the U.S. District Court of the District of Columbia comes roughly a month after A1 was arrested in Duels Airport in Virginia trying to board a plane to Pakistan where his family is from. A1 and other IT aides for House Democrats have been on investigators' radar for months over concerns of possible double billing, alleged equipment theft, and access to sensitive computer systems. Most lawmakers fired Awan in February, but Schultz had kept him on until his arrest in July. The indictment itself, which merely represents formal charges, is not a finding of guilt. In addressing separate allegations that Awan and his wife engage in a conspiracy to obtain home equity lines of credit, from the Congressional Federal Credit Union by giving false information about two properties and then sending those proceeds to individuals in Pakistan. It says that the case has been put renewed scrutiny on Wasserman Schultz for keeping Awan on payroll for months, even after the criminal investigation was revealed that he was barred from the house IT networks. Awan and other family members for years have had a lucrative uh, arrangement for IT-related work on Capitol Hill for House Democrats. According to the Daily Caller, the members from the Pakistani family made at least $4 million since 2009. In a recent interview published by the Sun Centennial, Washerman Schultz blamed the quote, right-wing media circus fringe for the attention on Awan. The former head of the Democratic National Committee suggested that it, it's all a part of an effort to distract from the investigation on Russia's meddling in the 2016 campaign and possible ties to President Trump's team. And they said, and she said, quote, in any opportunity that you can to pull people's eyes and ears away from that is what they're going to take. So it says that her colleagues in Congress, though, say that there is serious uh, security implications in her former staffer's case. And uh, according to Ron DeSantis, Republican of Florida, told Fox News and Friends, quote, we have to investigate how our systems may have been compromised. It says, though Awan was barred from the IT network, Wasserman Schultz spokesman David uh, Dameron told Fox News their office worked with the House Chief Administrative Officer to arrange for the employee to keep providing valuable resources without access to the House network. Awan, 37 of Virginia, earlier uh, pleaded not guilty to a single count of bank fraud. Attorney Christopher Goen told Fox News that federal authorities have no evidence of misconduct by A1 related to his IT duties. So these are the people that had access to sensitive information. These are the same people that were, um, they were bankrolling on the fact that that they could double charge, you know, charge for extra stuff, trying to take as much money from the American taxpayer as they possibly could. It was a very lucrative business for them because they're crooked, just like Wasserman Schultz. And she herself has tried to not only help them, but has tried to destroy evidence so they won't get in trouble, which in fact will link her and other Democrats along with her. But these are the infamous Awan brothers. There's more than one. And, but as of right now, the reason he's indicted is on counts of him making false statements to a bank in order to get a credit line, get that money, and then send it back to Pakistan. We really don't know what, you know, he sent it for or who was the one that told him to do it. But uh, there is really something going on. You know, there is some type of money laundering going on between these two and others in the Democratic uh, it, other Democrats is what I was trying to say. 
So let us know what you guys think in the comments section below. What do you guys think is going on with this, folks? Do you think there's more that is, has still not been uncovered? It looks like a bunch of Republicans really want to get into this. And they want to see what actually happened and what type of information was A1, uh, you know, w w what kind of information he was exposed to and what type of information he actually got to see. Okay, we don't know if it could be confidential information, classified information. We really do not know. Okay, because he could have easily given it to other um, other rogue nations or other nations that are not that friendly to us, like Iran. Okay, we don't know yet. So that's the type of stuff that they need to look into. And like I said, Representative Ron DeSantis, Republican of Florida, said, quote, We have to investigate how our systems may have been compromised. And more Republicans need to start speaking out against Schultz and against this uh, Awan brothers. These Awan brothers, they really need to figure out what type of information they were exposed to. But let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you guys missed any of our previous videos, they should be coming up on your screen. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. Also, check the links in the description below. We're getting censored by YouTube. So if you'd like to help us stay on the air, there's links on the description below for our Patreon if you guys want to help us with a mon monthly contribution. If you guys just want to do one contribution, then our PayPal link is in the description below. If you want to help us get to the next Trump rally, which will happen this Tuesday that's coming up on the 22nd, it's in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. If you'd like to help us get to that rally, make sure to check it out on GoFundMe. And, uh, and, you know, help us out, try to get there, try, you know, use it to, um, to stream it and film it with our own cameras and talk to the people and all that stuff. We're trying to get to the next Trump rally. So if you'd like to help us out, the link is in the description below. We'll stream it using our own cameras. We'll film it using our own cameras. We'll bring you uh, exclusive content, all that stuff from Phoenix, Arizona, where President Trump is having a rally this Tuesday that's coming up. So... Thank you very much in advance. All the links for that is in the description below. Subscribe to the channel. Share this report. And also, if you like this report, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys here next time. My name is Jen. I'm from Golden State Times. And I'll see you soon. Peace.